Hey everybody, a common complaint that I see is hip issues in dogs. And you know, this can range from hip dysplasia to hip arthritis to just you know an abnormal strain that can happen with exercise. One of the things that we have to identify when there's a joint injury in there that there's a lot of muscles that cross that hip joint. And if the hip joint is injured, those muscles will tighten up. So a simple way to reduce some of that compression that's happening in the joint is actually releasing some of the tension on the muscles that cross the joint. In particular, the one group that I like using it, or doing a lot of work on are the adductor muscles, which are basically the groin muscles. So I find a lot of times I find these um, dogs that have hip issues that they're almost super, super tense. The tendons feel like they're guitar strings or pencils even, depending on the side of the dog. And it's really easy to release those. So if Bo cooperates with me, I'll get him to stand up here and uh, I'll show you uh, how I do this. So when we work this area, where we want to landmark is actually right on the inside here. And when they're weight bearing, I mean, Bo has a nice meaty area through here, uh, but they're not too tenderness, they're not too tight, they're a nice relaxed tone even while he's weight bearing. Um, but what you can do is you can go in there and just hold a little bit of pressure on it uh, if it is tender. Dogs that have lost some of the muscle mass in their quads and their hamstrings, you'll find that these adductors get quite tense. Um, but when we work in there, we just want to hold light pressure. And remember, this is a very sensitive area and you want to proceed with a little bit of caution when you go in there because your dog might get a little bit nervous. The other thing is there's a big artery that runs through there and you don't want to put pressure on the artery. So if you feel it pulsating under your fingertips, stay off of that. Another thing you can do is actually move the dog's leg to lengthen the muscle at the same time. Now I say move with some caution when you do this because if your dog, and maybe check with your vet or your animal chiro, whoever you want to talk to about this, but say if your dog has really bad osteoarthritis or really bad hip dysplasia, this probably isn't the best thing to do with them by moving the hip laterally like this. So you just basically hold that. I'm gonna go in from the back side here. I find it easier to hold the stifle and just opening up that joint a little bit and releasing that muscle. So think of the movement that a, a male dog would do when they're urinating. This is the same motion you wanna do with their hip. But remember, proceed with caution if your dog does suffer from bad hip arthritis or uh, bad hip dysplasia. Hope that helps. Leave a comment below and I hope you subscribe.